Well, hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna be making the tutorial of all tutorials. How to make a mug or a cup, call it what you like, in SketchUp 2019. We're gonna be using uh, the default tools of SketchUp, but we're also gonna have to be using two plugins. I'm gonna put their links in the description below. So let's begin. First, we're gonna have to find our cup and something that uh, we want to make. We're going to be starting by making a circle out of 16 faces. And then, then we're going to be drawing a line that's going to be used to make a handle. We're going to make a couple of loop cuts on our cylinder and uh, it's the way every 3D modeling tool works when you're dealing with subsurface modifiers so we need to be making those loop cuts. And now we are kind of working with our handles we are using this magnificent uh, plugin that's called curvy loft now we're just checking out the geometry making some small movements of the loop cuts and then we are just pulling the face inside the cup. And the other plugin we're gonna use is called Artisan. It's a very, very cool plugin for SketchUp where you can uh, model these amorphic forms and I'm going to leave the link in the description below. Then we're going to go to make our writings on the cup. What kind of a cup or a mug would it be if it didn't have some kind of a funny writing? I just thought of this line right off the bat and here we go. We're gonna scale the texture to fit our cup and then we're gonna use the white part of this material to apply it to the whole geometry. Once we apply the white part of this texture to the geometry we're gonna put down this cube with the writings on it and then we're gonna project the writing onto the face of the mug and here it is it's practically finished Now we just have to tweak a little bit of the materials. Tried with this concrete texture, but then I didn't like the result. So I changed it to a uh, wood. I also changed a little bit of the color uh, so that I could get a little more realistic uh, reflections. But this is not the point of this tutorial. I'm just uh, showing you what can be done with the V-Ray plugin. We're going to talk about V-Ray in a future video. For now, you just have to be very happy to have learned to model a cup in just a couple of minutes. Anyway, this is it, guys, for this video. This is a short one, but I can't be making uh, half an hour, an hour long videos every single time. So I just wanted to do something simple for you guys and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, like this video and subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one. Goodbye.